good morning, dear all. Uh, I hope you've spent a nice weekend. And today we are going to talk about one more product line of Technoton company, uh, Exelode sensors. Uh, but first of all, let me check whether you hear me properly and do you see me distinctly. So please, you're welcome to uh, put some marks in our uh, um, question chart. So for us to know whether, whether the connection is good. Okay, so uh, let us start with the Exelode sensors. Um, actually, these uh, devices are of high demand nowadays and their popularity is going to grow more and more um, because it makes uh, the work of drivers, of operators and of uh, fleet owners easier and helps to control their business. Um, what I want to say firstly is that we offer the devices of two types for two types of suspension uh, for leaf uh, or so-called mechanical suspension uh, where the center of the arc uh, is fixed uh, to the axle and the loops at the end of the uh, arc are fixed to the chassis. Uh, in this case, we can offer the genome uh, DP and genome DPS7 types of sensors and also the sensors for the uh, pneumonic suspension. Um, in this case, we offer the genome DDE and genome DDE S7 types. Um, uh, also, the, it is very important issue when you place the order. So please, when you talk to your uh, expert manager, be sure that you know which type of suspension your trucks have in order for us to choose the most appropriate type of the goods for you and uh, save the time and um, also to, to make the project uh, effective and uh, uh, use less time for the discussion and choosing the goods. Um, actually, there are different um, purposes and different demands of uh, our clients and using the genome sensor as a part of the telematic system uh, helps our um, clients and the end users to gain the following benefits. So first of all, this is the driver supervision uh, that uh, helps to eliminate the unauthorized cargoes. Uh, so the fleet owners are available about the trucks, about every truck, about every cargo that it is delivering and uh, they are informed if some unauthorized cases take place and some unauthorized um, deliveries are carried out. Also, if we talk about the trailer optimization, uh, the sensors help to detect whether the trailer is uh, loaded, overloaded, underloaded, and it also helps to carry about the suspension because uh, in case the uh, truck is overloaded all the time, so the repair and suspension wear takes place more often, so it will lead to costly repair in future. Uh, apart from that, um, uh, if we talk about the underhand cargo carriage, uh, our um, Technoton uh, server uh, or for monitor uh, helps to not only to track the, the, the trucks in the real time mode, but also to draw the geo zones. And in case the uh, truck is deviating from his route or itinerary, um, you will get the alarm and the operator may um, uh, connect the driver and ask what is happening, whether it was on purpose or occasionally. Uh, also, uh, you can um, get the information about the load and unload events location uh, during uh, the time of uh, uh, this process and the duration of this process. It is very comfortable um, if the cargo shall be delivered um, upon the, differ upon the uh, definite time limit. Um, some kind of deliveries uh, need to be carried out uh, upon, um, um, upon some time. Uh, so uh, the operator and the owner, the end user may know whether uh, the driver is uh, keeping to the schedule. Um, uh, also, uh, 
uh, the avoiding of fines uh, is a very uh, important issue for the fleet owners because uh, um, in case uh, the trucks are overloaded, there is a risk to pay the fines uh, on the border, for example, and uh, the fines are now very high and strict in most of the countries of the world. Uh, decreasing the cost of suspension maintenance as as i told you earlier uh, the overloading uh, will lead to costly repair in future so uh, using our sensors you will definitely reduce this cost and be aware uh, of the technical state of your suspension um you know, uh, nowadays, uh, I, I told you earlier that more and more people are ordering the sensors. So first of all, because the fleet owners carry about the um, this extra money they're going to pay on the borders or, or on the um, some um, roads that uh, uh, have some restrictions now. And secondly, a lot of... Uh, uh, governments are now uh, considering uh, about the quality of the roads uh, in their countries and uh, they they issue the restrictions um, uh, upon the carriage of this or that cargoes on this or that road so um, this also will lead to um, to fines later on and if the truck is overloaded so they uh, not only the suspension that will suffer but also the the um, uh, road cover and the quality of the roads will also suffer greatly uh, here uh, on our next slide we can see the example of axolot monitoring system um, as you may see, the truck and the trailer have different types of suspension, so it's also possible to use the Genome DP on the trailer or semi-trailer uh, that has a leaf suspension and the Genome DDE um, uh, sensor on the truck itself. Uh, also, uh, as you may see here on the picture, the, the tracker gathers all the information and sends to the server. Uh, uh, and the display is mounted in the driver's cabin to reflect the data and um, uh, make the driver be aware of the um, actual cargo that is uh, loaded uh, in, in, in his truck. Um, now I will tell you me, uh, more uh, about the sensors with the signal cable. Uh, I will tell you later on that we have the wireless uh, type, but now let us uh, talk more about the cabling uh, types of our um, Exelode sensors. Uh, we have uh, Genome DP and Genome DDE types. Uh, here you may see the Genome DP type, so it looks like this. And you may see the main components, the structure of uh, this sensor. Uh, the main components are the measuring head and the uh, with the Excel shift transducer and the pivot lever. Also, there is a pi uh, power supply connector and the mounting bracket. And the the signal, the output signal is analog in both cases in uh, DP model and DDE model. Um, if we talk about the uh, operation principle, um, I believe that um, I'll better uh, show it to you on the demonstration stand. So here we uh, assume that there is a loading of the truck. And uh, as I told you earlier, there is a, a terminal, the tracker, and the display, let's say, in the cabin of the driver. Uh, so here we will uh, move the... Actually, so um, the... Um, when the cargo is uh, loaded, the frame goes down. So uh, I will imitate this uh, parameter and uh, the lever... Uh, of the uh, of the sensor will will also shift and um, it will uh, sh it, it will feel this um, uh, moving of the frame 
and uh, the parameters are shown on the display. So now we will see that uh, the, the um, uh, truck is loaded and uh, this, the display will show you the event now and show the uh, actual amount of kilos. Uh, just a second, let me, let me move it a bit up because I was out of the of the maximum coverage. So here you may see the figure. Uh, what is happening uh, with uh, the sensor, how it feels this, uh, um, this loading and how it sends the information to the display. Uh, and also now you may see the uh, information that the event took place. So the uh, loading of the truck took place. So actually, um, I believe that um, most of our um, listeners and participants of the um, uh, webinar are skilled and uh, qualified specialists, so they will definitely understand this principle. So I will not uh, discuss this uh, issue too long. Uh, in case you would like to know more about um, the principle of operation uh, of our sensors, you may uh, visit our YouTube channel where everything is shown on the video. Uh, the key features uh, that are um, related to the Genome uh, DP are as follows. So the sensor is installed on the Excel uh, and uh, uh, the sensor can be connected to any a GPS tracker uh, that has the voltage input. So voltage range, uh, supply voltage range and output voltage range are shown below uh, on this slide. So let us move forward. Uh, yeah, here you may see um, the, the parameters, the supply voltage range and output voltage range, as I mentioned to you before. Uh, I would like to draw your attention to the mounting kit here. So uh, as a rule, we, mm, uh, we offer uh, the mounting kit of all our Techniton devices as an option. But here, uh, if we talk about the Genome DP, uh, the mounting kit is really something you know, must have, uh, because uh, this is really our pride. And to my mind, this is the best mountain key that is now at the market uh, due to the elastic elements and the quality of the materials that um, we produce the mountain key from. Uh, actually, we have a universal type of the mountain kit uh, and a shifted one, shifted version of the mountain kit uh, in case you do not need so many um, elements. Uh, the shifted version is uh, not so versatile, but the quality is uh, uh, the same. The quality is as high as we talk about the universal one. So in case you would like to know more about the comparison uh, in between these two uh, mountain kits, uh, um, you may uh, contact your sales manager and they will definitely help you with this issue. Um, so I would also mention that the mounting kit in this case is a very crucial issue because the installation, um, uh, uh, the quality of installation uh, affects greatly on the data acquisition and on the workability of the sensor. As the elastic elements, they reduce the, the damage uh, and the stress that is caused by bad roads, for example. So it makes the sensor uh, work longer and give you the most precise data. Um, here we have the example of the garbage truck. I believe that every country has such trucks and uh, the, this is a real example actually. And the, the demand was to uh, measure the Excel load. So the, the load on the rear axle that is mostly, as a, that is a rule, most loaded one. So you may see, uh, all the uh, changing data changing is shown on the diagram on the right. So you may see that uh, there was uh, 102 uh, cases of loading and three cases of unloading there. So you will uh, also get, get such uh, diagram and all other uh, reports uh, in case you install our sensors and connect to our server uh, via the tracker or terminal. 
Um, a bit more about the genome DDE structure. Uh, this is the genome DDE, but it's the S7 type. Uh, ah, this is one. This is the one uh, we are talking now about. So uh, here we see the cable connector, the pressure transducer, mounting nut, and the inlet thread fitting. So uh, it's quite easy to be installed. It's quite easy to deal with, and the output signal is uh, analog as uh, the same we were talking about the genome DP type. Uh, here, the operation type is a bit different, is actually, it is absolutely different. Uh, and the, um, the signal voltage is directly proportional to the pressure of compressed air in the vehicle suspension system. Uh, you uh, also may see the video. Um, I will not uh, open it on the presentation now. Um, because maybe it will cause some, uh, you know, technical issues. There are many people uh, that are who are attending our webinar. So later on, you are able to see the video on the YouTube as well. Uh, and the key features uh, um, also, uh, as I told you, on the DP. So uh, it can be connected with the GPS tracker uh, with the. Uh, voltage input and uh, this very sensor is installed in air cylinder or compressed air line of the suspension. Uh, the features, the parameters, technical parameters are also shown below on the slide. The inlet pressure, supply voltage and output voltage range. Um, here we have placed the example um, about the truck and the semi-trailer and here we were measuring the uh, axle load on the rear uh, axle of the truck itself um, also uh, having the data about the load of the truck and the cargo the gross cargo weight and everything is shown on the diagram so uh, was it whether it was loaded or unloaded and also um, by the way, uh, I've mentioned before that we have the OR4 monitor server. Uh, so any of you can um, find it in the internet and um, um, see the demo version of our server. Uh, the password and the login are below the enter button. In case you need the link, we will definitely send it to you later. You may serve there and see the real um, uh, objects that are using our goods that are now moving in different countries. And uh, if you find the Actros um, truck cannot plus X load, uh, you will see the, the actual truck that is moving with the uh, DDE genome um, sensor. And you may see how it looks like, uh, what report the end user is um, uh, getting and all the data that you may uh, as soon as you install these uh, sensors. In order to make our work uh, better and to ease the work of the clients, uh, we are continuously uh, trying to uh, test different types of terminals that are offered all over the world uh, to check the compatibility. Uh, so you may see the number uh, of the uh, terminals uh, our goods are already compatible with. Uh, and I believe that uh, this uh, list will be bigger and bigger um, during time. Uh, but also please mention, but also please keep in mind that uh, any terminal that is equipped with a 0 to 5 volt uh, analog input uh, shall be compatible with our devices. Um, now I will talk more about the S7 solution, S7 technology. Um, it's not a secret that Technoton is keeping pace and um, uh, is uh, very attentive to most um, state of art tendencies. And now we we have created the S7 type of our uh, uh, sensors uh, for you to install everything easier uh, because uh, the S7 technology means no cabling. It means no. It means less uh, 
installation time, less installation uh, efforts, uh, less vandalism, um, occasional or by purpose. Uh, uh, so no wires is, all, is, is, is easier. Um, as you may see uh, on the overall S7 technology slide, uh, the, the, the sensor is sending the information to the tracker. Uh, so the tracker uh, processes this information and in its turn sends this information to uh, smartphone. Uh, I will talk about this a bit later and to the server. Uh, in order to show uh, the end user all type of reports in uh, tables and graphics uh, in figures and um, uh, in actually in all types of um, visual uh, data that is uh, possible now and that is uh, uh, familiar for the end user. Um, the structure of the S7 uh, e of, of the S7 genome DP type uh, is almost the same as the uh, wire type. Uh, the only difference is that we have the internal battery here uh, and the uh, data are transferred via BLE, the Bluetooth Low Energy Technology. Uh, so the sensor um, the same as with the cabling shall be installed on the truck or on the semi-trailer and it measures the axle shift as we talked before uh, and the um, estimated time of the internal battery life is five years. Uh, the manufacturer claims more but for us to be on safe side we uh, say five years for now, and the data transfer distance is from 10 to 20 meters. Uh, the genome S7 DDE uh, type uh, is also presented here on my table. Uh, the, also, the difference uh, here, you see that they are, they look more different than the G, than the uh, DP type, uh, and uh, the DDE is also uh, having the uh, inside battery, and is also working on the BLE um, Bluetooth Low Energy uh, that, the data transfer uh, mode. Um, the key features are uh, the same as we were talking about the DDE. Uh, cable type, I'm so sorry, and uh, also uh, the wireless data transfer to several uh, receivers uh, is possible uh, due to the BLE uh, low energy, uh, due to the uh, Bluetooth low energy technology. Uh, the same, the sensor uh, battery lifetime is claimed to be five years and the distance uh, of the data transfer is the same from 10 to 20 meters. Um, just a second, let me switch to the another slide. Uh, let me ask my uh, IT colleague to, to switch to the other slide. Just a second. I think that there is some uh, bad connection. Just a second. Um, I would like to switch to some to, 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 to the next slide, but Um, but I cannot. Uh, just a second. Uh, I will now try to do the. Aha, uh -huh, here it is. Okay, good. Uh, so uh, the same with the uh, cabling type of the sensors. We are continuously checking the compatibility with with the various types of terminals. Uh, but in case you are not sure that this or that terminal is compatible, uh, you can uh, either address to your sales manager or uh, you can check the compatibility yourself. Um, uh, on our website, there is a compatibility insert with the uh, related 
related to every uh, good, uh, every device that is offered by Technoton. Uh, so you may check it yourself or uh, talk with the expert manager that you are working with. So uh, he or she will definitely give you uh, the information. Um, so as soon as this technology is wireless and as soon as this is 21st century here, <laughs> everywhere, um, we offer the uh, um, mobile application uh, for the S7 um, uh, devices. Uh, it is possible to be downloaded on the, uh, from the um, uh, Google Play uh, and it is called the Exelode monitor. However, uh, there is a Service S7 a genome application still available. Uh, this is a free application, uh, though it has a very uh, shifted um, type and it has only very basic data available there. So I would recommend you to, to download the Exelode monitor and be aware of all the uh, parameters and all the reports um, that may be sent by the uh, sensor. It is very comfortable because uh, you do not need to use the display as we were talking about the uh, cable system. Uh, so every driver or uh, chief mechanic or operator or the end user may download the application and um, uh, get all the necessary information. Um, Please mind that, as I told you earlier, this uh, application shall be downloaded from the Google Play and installed on the device you are going to use. And uh, the, there is no possibility to choose, to check, um, pardon me, there is no possibility to change uh, the configurations and the factory settings of the device. Uh, so all the, uh, um, changes and all the calibration table and some uh, other settings shall be made at the receiver's side. Please keep it in mind. Okay, uh, so uh, to summarize everything I told you earlier, uh, we have two types of our sensors in respect of the suspension. So the one for leaf suspension and the one for the balloon suspension or pneumonic suspension or air suspension, so everybody calls it in a different way. And also we have two types of sensors in respect of the data transfer. This is the cable one and the wireless one. Uh, please mind that any GPS tracker uh, with the input, uh, with the voltage input up to five volts is uh, compatible and may be used with the genome sensors. Uh, and um, don't forget about the mountain kit uh, I, I was talking earlier because this is really uh, our pride and uh, uh, we uh, think that um, it would definitely help you to get the most accurate data and make your installation easier. Doesn't matter whether it is the uh, wire or wireless type. Um, also be with us at any internet resource uh, that is convenient for you. Uh, you may watch videos and visit our website to be aware of our novelties and see the solutions that we offer for this or that uh, sphere of business and industry. Um, I believe that uh, this is the uh, end of my presentation, um, but I would like to mention that uh, all our team is so involved now in this webinar session that more and more people uh, would like to participate and share their knowledge um, with you about the goods and the solutions we have. So uh, my colleague, um, Paul, uh, he is the technical specialist uh, 
uh, he, he, he also would like to uh, participate and to take part in this webinar and help me to reply the questions that you may have. Um, you may uh, know him, maybe or he was uh, making some installations on your side uh, before, or maybe you were talking to him um, by Skype. And when there was a necessity uh, to have the some technical technical support, so uh, Paul, you are welcome to join me. Uh, come here. Uh, so uh, this is Paul. So uh, we are ready for all the tricky questions you have. Uh, you are welcome. So let us start with the questions now. Hello. Thank you, Irina. Okay, uh, how can you deploy on vessels and cargo trucks with live remote feeds? Um, so, uh, actually, I'm not sure that uh, the axolot sensors may be installed yes, on the yes. vessel. Actually, it's not, it's, it's not the thing yeah, that we are uh, aiming now, but maybe in future there is also a good idea to to uh, invent something like this and in case you have the demand and need you can tell us uh, a, a bit in in the details later on so we will uh, transfer this information to our technical team and our technical department maybe they will find some way out Uh, hello, is there any kind of calibration need to install this genome exilon? Yeah, definitely. Uh, every sensor has to be calibrated after installation and the calibration table need to be done. Uh, as I mentioned before, it has to be done on the receiver's side. Yeah, and uh, um, I believe that uh, how many points uh, it is necessary to make for the as calibration? As much as possible. As much as possible. Um, it depends on the vehicle you have and on the cargo, maybe on the cargo you are going to transport. But uh, yeah, the calibration table is definitely um, uh, needed. Normally it's uh, five, six point is, is minimal, uh, but... But the more you have, the better yeah. and the more for accurate data accuracy, you're going to have. For you need to take more points of calibration. Uh, how many time need to install the Bluetooth sensor to track? Um, uh, dear Dimitrius. Uh, Once per one week. week. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, he, 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 Dimitrius is asking how many, how many time? Uh, I believe that he he's asking uh, uh, how much time is spent. needed. Yeah, yeah. Um, actually, it, it, there are so many factors uh, that uh, affect uh, this installation. So uh, everything depends on your technical skills, on the uh, preparation uh, you have. Actually, that's that's, that's um, um, very important to to speak about uh, type of suspension. Uh, um, Normally, yeah, we spend true. more time for a leaf suspension. Uh, more difficult to make installation for leaf and mechanical type of sus uh, for suspension and uh, for installation of DP type of uh, GNOME. Yeah, sensor. that's true. But also keep in mind that uh, the uh, discipline at site is also very time consuming. So in case you study the manuals, in case you are technically skilled, in case you have the experience of such installation, and in case you have all the necessary things uh, around you uh, to, to prepare and to make the installation, um, the less time you will need. So there is no some time limits like one day or one hour yeah. or something like this. So it's very uh, unique for every site, for every case. Is your API available in case one have to use the custom server? Um, what does it mean, API? API uh, is available. Uh, 
you can talk to your sales manager and I believe that um, they will share this information with you. Uh, but we, uh, of course, we, we recommend to use our server because our technical managers will also uh, be able to help you to create the profile, to set all the reports there and all the time monitor whether you're doing everything correctly or incorrectly, they will uh, help you to, to, to make the settings there. Uh, so the next question is, uh, can the shift sensor be used uh, for other application except Excel load? Example, crane position, plow mm -hmm. depth position. Yes, it can. It can be used, but it's uh, some specific installation for us. Normally, we, we use this kind of sensor with, uh, um, with a solution for Excel load or weight monitoring. But uh, in some cases, we can use... Uh, shift type of sensor for um, another tasks uh, like uh, um, like you mentioned detection position mm -hmm. uh, something so like this yeah. you you can address uh, to your sales manager and tell them more so i believe that uh, we will find uh, and we will choose the most appropriate solution for you but in general it is possible the next question Uh, are there some more questions? Uh, can the Excel, the genome Excel load sensor work on S7 sensors? It's work. Uh, <laughs> actually, yes, we have created the S7 uh, type. So there is a wireless one. You may uh, read more on our website or later on we will send you this presentation and you, you, you may get uh, all the necessary information from it, I believe. How the sensors will respond to the road conditions? Suspension, suppress, and expense depends on the road conditions. So how it is compensated? Well, uh, okay. Yeah. If you're compensated by uh, filtration, uh, normally we use uh, filtration function uh, on our... Uh, soft uh, side on our soft side we uh, uh, f filtering a uh, signal from uh, sensors to uh, get uh, how to say it stable signal fr from sensor because of course we know uh, somewhere road condition is not good not perfect for using uh, our type of sensors it can give us some errors so, so some false uh, events, so that's not good for uh, understanding the data from uh, sensor. So for uh, resolving this problem, we are using filtration. And also, I would also like to add that if we talk about the DP sensors, these um, bad quality roads uh, also may affect the suspension and the sensor uh, mechanically. So due to our elastic elements, all the stresses are, uh, mo most of the stresses are compensated. And it also helps to get the more clear um, um, data acquisition. Ten to twenty meters. Uh, some trailers may be longer than uh, these for thirty-four ton keeper trucks. How will this work for far and axle? Yeah, this is really a good question. So, um, uh, may 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 mm, just a couple of words before our technical in, specialist. In this case, I, I think better to uh, if we. Uh, not sure in a um, uh, good signal between uh, our uh, BLE sensors uh, and the box which will read information from uh, sensors. Uh, we will recommend to use a uh, um, normal type of uh, GNOME. The wire type, yes, with yeah. the wire because it's more uh, stable, uh, more safety for uh, data transmission. Uh, so in this case, need to uh, find some solution uh, with the uh, um, wire connections. So uh, normally, um, we can 
Um, normally, we um, make installation of our um, GPS tracker device, for example, in the in the cabin. Mm -hmm. But sometimes we can uh, make installation yeah, outside, that's what I outside, to say, outside yeah. the cabin. Uh, in, in this case, for example. So yeah, there's also the way out. Uh, of course, the BLE signal is uh, may may be unstable if we talk about the longer vehicles. But uh, yeah, uh, definitely because there are um, a lot of medical met metal obstacles under the truck and everything like this. Uh, but uh, may it may work, but it may not work. In this case, if we talk about the longer trucks, uh, there is a if there is a possibility to install the tracker closer to the sensor, not in the cabin, but somewhere, maybe in some cabinet, or if there is some manhole or something like this, there is also the way out to limit this distance in between the sensor and the tracking device. Will I be able to read accurately when track is moving or when on the steep? Uh, on the steep, actually, I'm not sure that we understand you in the correct way. Yeah, but uh, we can read the information yes, okay. on the way, definitely, uh, because uh, when the truck is moving, the suspension is moving. So, yes, of course, you will get the data. Are, are there event notifications? It is uh, a load shift event notification. Um, we have uh, probably um, you asking about some kind of alarm. Yeah, some kind uh, if of you're speaking alarm. about our uh, application, this uh, uh, we realize function of alarm in case of some overload, for example. Uh, uh, after completing a calibration table, we um, uh, wrote a overload uh, overload point of this calibration table. Uh, if current weight will more than this point, we will get alarm. Uh, the system will send you the in, alarm in, in, in case, uh, yeah, yes. this, this weight is more than the maximum one that is in the calibration table. Uh, where your sensors deployed, tested in extreme weather conditions before. Um, actually, what you mean by extreme weather conditions, uh, first of all, because, uh, yes, our sensors were installed on the quarries uh, with the dust, with the stones all the time, and uh, Technoton is um, offering the goods to... Uh, I would say something like 120 countries of the world. So all of them have uh, different climatic different climate, yes. climatic uh, conditions and very severe and very hot and very humid. So um, our Exelode sensors, especially if we talk about the cable type, uh, they have recommended it themselves uh, as a very good device and is very stable for the climatic conditions. Yes. And moreover, uh, all. You may see it, I believe, that in our manual or on our passport that uh, before the manufacturing, uh, before the mass manufacturing, we also conduct the tests. Yes. Uh, so in, in various chambers with... and we make the tests on various climatic types. Uh, so, yes, uh, we have tested them before in heavy climatic conditions. To work with the snow, with the rain, with the dirt. Uh, with dust. With, uh, and then... Different extreme temperatures. So that's normal condition for our sensors. What is the useful life of these sensors? Uh, actually, we claim the warranty period for two years. Uh, but, but, but the lifetime is longer. And of course, it depends on a lot of uh, you know factors at site. How uh, often are they? Um, uh, how often are they? Uh, how to say? Um, uh, not, not tested, but uh, checked. How often uh, is the maintenance carried out? Whether it, the sensors were in, yeah, weather conditions, condition, whether the sensor was installed in a proper way, whether the uh, fleet manager is or the technical person is skilled enough, and you know, uh, there are so many factors. But uh, normally, our sensors work much longer than two years. Of approximately, it's uh, for five years. Yeah, something like five years. 
is the signal filtration process happens at the sensor end or it is at the server to identify the bad road conditions signal? Mm, we answer it. Mm, the filtration the... process, uh, is it... Uh, is it, it is done on the server, uh, definitely, because all the settings are done on the server. So the filtration yeah. coefficient is also... Um, There's no internal filtration and... Uh, Actually, there is nothing done. Device. Yeah, there is nothing can be done uh, inside the, the sensor itself. So everything is done uh, on the server. Maximum load measurement range. Oh, mm. Actually, there is no... Uh, maximum. Uh, no, maximum. We are uh, speaking about uh, degrees. Uh, speaking about uh, pressure, we, we have a limitation for this. This parameters. Units, this parameters, mm. not for uh, weight. Um, Actually, we do not care about the weight. Uh, the main point is that how the suspension feels this weight and uh, what the data it is sending to the to the sensor. Don't forget, our sensors measure uh, pitch and. Uh, uh, pressure. Uh, in the garbage truck, it's possible to see the data difference between the points from bins to bins and measure mm -hmm. the weight of the bins. I mentioned in the sensitivity of the sensor. It depends on quality of uh, installation. It depends on quality of calibration. So uh, and, and also, also on the suspension type. Yes, yes, you're right. So whether it is very sensible or not. In some cases, it's possible to see. Uh, um, weighing for each point. Can your sensor work uh, with big dumpers or articulated dump trucks? Um, if uh, there is a, a above mentioned type of suspension, yes. But as far as we know, the big dump trucks and the articulated trucks, they have the hydraulic suspension. So please, if, mm -hmm. uh, if, you, if you know the type of suspension, you may uh, address to us, and if it's leaf or a balloon suspension, yes, then it can work. Uh, is recalibration required over a period of time as a part of the maintenance of the sets? Um, in the case of using uh, GNOME DP for uh, leaf suspension, uh, yes, sometimes um, we recommend to make recalibration because uh, after some period of using this uh, type of sensors, uh, the elements of um, uh, like a rod, like a lever can um, get some uh, some removal. Some, um, uh, some, how to say, yeah, luft. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we mean that uh, normally we recommend uh, the check like half once in uh, a half a year or something like sometimes, this. Sometimes uh, um, we recommend you to make, uh, how to say it, some uh, um, accuracy checking. In case of a uh, good result of accuracy checking, you don't need to make any recalibration. But if you will get uh, some mistake, some error of measurement, so in this case, we will recommend you, will definitely you to make check everything yeah, and make yeah. the recalibration. If I have trucks of the same time, I can do it once uh, the calibration and then put the same profile to the truck. Mm. Um, no. <laughs> actually, it's a good idea, but no. Uh, every case is unique. Every track is unique. Uh, sometimes we face that there are absolutely uh, same. same tracks as per the specifications, but in reality, they differ. Yeah. Uh, they differ uh, in the in the suspension um, uh, sensitivity in uh, many different factors. So, in order, if you want to get the correct data, it's better to make the calibration uh, of For every H1, track. Yes. Yeah. How much is the battery life of 7 genome sensor? Is it compatible with all types of trackers? Uh, the battery life is five years, as I mentioned before. Uh, and the trackers, I also mentioned that there is a list of the trackers we have already uh, tried. Yeah, yeah, we have already tried. And there is a list of compatibility in this presentation and on our website as well. But if you have the other type, you can send us the name. So we will check whether it is compatible or not. Is the calibration data saved on the sensor memory or the server or client system? On a server side. 
Yes. Normally, we save calibration data calibration table on server side or on some some kind of uh, display monitor, uh, which can uh, save this information. Not inside the um, the, the, the device self itself. Sensor, yeah. Self sensor. Yes. There's no memory. How sensors will react to temperature change? Uh, actually, no, there, 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 is, there, actually there is no influence on regard, as per the temperature uh, parameter. So it's just the, the mechanical device and... Uh, we, we made a lot of tests um, of... Uh, um, test of our output message uh, in different uh, temperature condition so uh, we uh, all our uh, range of temperature um, was um, was checked during mm -hmm. the during the test when we made the test we uh, ch checked everything so uh, you, you you can be sh sure in a stable signal in case of uh, different temperature conditions We are going to have the S7 app running on Apple iOS platform soon. So, um, for, right for now, now, we have no plan. For to... now, we have the application available for uh, the Android. Only for Android. Yeah, but, but maybe in future, there is a possibility to, to create the application for the Apple as well. Technotons, uh, USPs, and cost benefit advantages over existing products in the market. Uh, first of all, it's the quality. Uh, secondly, it's the 24 7 support of all our expert and sales managers and very qualified help of our uh, technical team and the installation supervision at site if necessary. And so Technoton actually is, uh, uh, is, is very popular all over the world and we carry much about our uh, reputation. So we will not offer you the device that is of low quality and that is not tested before. Uh, okay, uh, so That's I all. believe that uh, for now these are all the questions. So in case you want to, le to learn more, uh, please um, uh, find the information on our website or on LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube and uh, everywhere that, that, that every, every resource that you like to use or uh, contact us directly and we will help you with all the solutions. Stay happy, stay safe, and stay healthy in these hard times. And please uh, follow us uh, with our webinars uh, on Wednesday and on Thursday, as far as I know. Have a good day, then.